Well, folks, it all comes down to this. One game, neutral site, two undefeated teams going at it for a national title. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. I pull up to the house and I'll bring you some more into the 14 featuring the Georgia State Panthers, the uh, the national championship contender Georgia State Panthers. Today's video, we're taking on the Badgers of Wisconsin in the uh, the BCS national title game. And let's, let's get it. I'm excited. Let's do it. Now, uh, this team isn't really, you know, they haven't, they weren't really as good, uh, to be honest, as the other teams I've played all year. So I'm confident I can get things done, but, you know, you never know. So let's do this. They're pumped up. You know, we're pumped up for sure. We're, we're, we're not a team that uh, that shies away from the big moment, as you've seen all, all season long. You know, 12 wins, you know, most of them against big time, uh, you know, big time opponents, or well, almost 50%. And, uh, you know, we didn't back down. We went to tel Tuscaloosa or we went to, you know, to Ohio State. We played Stanford at home, you know, Ohio State at home. Or um, we played, you know, we played Georgia at home. You know, we, we didn't back down from anybody. So we're not, we're definitely not going to back down from a Big Ten school because they, you know, they've, they've had issues in, in, in big time bowl games. So let's do it. Kick off, you know, the, 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 <coughs> the coin toss goes to us. We decide, you know what? Why not? We're going to go ahead and kick it off to him. been doing it all season long. We want the ball at the half. It just makes sense. Now, Wisconsin has a very, uh, not a unique offense, but it's similar to those uh, those ground and pound teams in the NFL because they, they do a lot of running. You know, they've had some great running backs come out, and uh, they can they can work off the play action as well. So they're kind of similar to what we do. We run the ball a lot, and then we work out of the play action more often than not. As you see this big game, their, their first pass is completed to their tight end for 20 yards and a first down. Now, Later on in that drive, it's third and six. You know, a stop will be wonderful here just so we can, you know, get the ball and try to get some momentum going. And, you know, forcing these long third and, you know, third and to go situations is key as we get that stop there. They didn't get quite enough yards for the first down. They wanted to kick a field goal, but actually it led to a punt because they got a false start. So a three and out, well, not a three and out, but just as good as a three and out. We get the ball in our, uh, our workhorse back, Martell Jones, get things started early as we're backed up. You know, with, you know, our backs against our own, our end, our own end zone. <coughs> Excuse me. So look at that season: 20, two, uh, 200, uh, 200 carries, fourteen hundred yards. You know, double digit TDs. Yet he was not a Heisman finalist. You know, even though he was uh, part of an undefeated team, he did he made plays all season long, just like Justin Royal has been doing as he finds Shannon Shaw for a nineteen yard reception, setting up a first down for the uh, for the Panthers. Let's go. Now it's third and five. This quarter's already coming to a close. You know already, it's it's crazy because you know both our teams we uh, we grounded it out just to you know you know feel each other out pretty much like a like a championship boxing match. And uh, at their one quarter, it's tied to zeros. You know I'm cool with that because we got the ball still. We get the ball at the half, so maybe if we score and get another stop, then you know we get a chance to build some momentum and, and build a bit of a lead, which we always you know we want to do that because. You know, NCAA, you know, they make things happen when whenever their teams are, are trailing. So I'm just saying. Anyway, quarter number two starts at about the 35-yard uh, line of our opponent. And I decide to uh, run with Justin Royal, but it does not work out at all. Huge sack. You know, that, that was big for them. And we're going to be faced with a third and 18. You know, our offensive line is so pitiful, but we could not pick up the blitz right there. The pass rush didn't really do much of anything. It was that safety that came in and, and got the sack. So... You know, what, what can you do? It'll be third and 18, and hopefully we can make a play. Although uh, we, we don't really have a lot of plays in the playbook, this is one of my favorites. It's called Seattle. It's out of the uh, the single back formation, and I just love it because guys get open, just like Shannon Shaw does here. He's wide open, fumbles, but Jeff Smith, you know, who actually didn't win the tight end award for, uh, for being the best tight end, which I was kind of, you know, disappointed about, he makes a great play. You know, that could have altered the, the course of this game early on just because a fumble here in the red zone would be crucial. You know, if we'd have lost it, that guy tried to run without the, you know, without the ball, I guess, and, and Jeff Smith comes in and makes the play. Very next play, we decide to make him pay. We're going to our, our workhorse guy, Martell Jones. Going to have this tight end go in motion and, uh, and see what happens. Ball snapped. Martell Jones gets some good blocking. Zips around one guy, steps on another one, and falls into the end zone for a 14-yard touchdown scramble. Let's go. So in the national title game, y'all can't see us. We, we ready. We've been ready for this game since 
we beat all five of those those ranked opponents. We've been waiting for this to happen, just to go out on that big stage and show what we can do. So seven nothing Panthers. Wisconsin, they're going to answer back. Uh, you know, they're already in our territory with just under two minutes to play. Another stop here will be very crucial. You know, to to help in our cause. But you know, Pioneer Double A does sometimes. But this time we get the sack. David Allen gets sacked by uh by Jermaine Walton. Who actually, if you saw the entire video last video, he won a couple of uh for, of national awards, the the Rotary Lombardi Award and the Bronco Nagurski Award. Some uh, some some huge honors for defensive players. So he's had a great season. Maybe he can make that translate over to the NFL. Who knows? You know. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, address that once the uh, offseason comes. And on third and one, we stuff the run game. This is one of the better rushing teams in the nation. They have been for years. Guys like Ron Dane, Monty Ball, shout out my Denver Broncos. They've always turned out good running backs, good offensive linemen, etc. But we got to stop there. Much needed. Now, they decided to go for it on fourth and two. And I get into the backfield with my safety. And he's also met by a linebacker as well. We get to stop. Huge play. Huge play. Because a, a, a turnover here. That, that was that was big. Uh, we'd actually uh, we gave the ball back a few plays later, and they got a field goal before halftime. But things are looking great. Seven three. We get the ball at the half, and we're looking to make some plays in the second half as well. So things begin for us after a really really bad uh, <laughs> a terrible kick return. We start to, the drive at about the six or seven yard line. First and ten. Justin Royal scramble, uh, scrambles out of the pocket and picks up twelve much needed yards just to give us a little bit of breathing room to open up the playbook a little bit more. So now third and sixteen backed up again like we always are so I decided to call on Seattle once more because it's such a great play and uh, this time we do not get the first down we're stopped just shy actually we didn't even make the catch I thought he caught it at first but we did not get the play so uh, a quick uh, um, pretty much a, a three and out leads to uh, Wisconsin getting the ball and taking over getting great field position and a few plays later they're already set up in our territory in the red zone bringing some read option into the mix running over our defender wow <laughs> that's all I can say Wow, dude got beasted. David Allen just laid me out. So what can you do? Third and six at about the uh, 11 yard line. They're coming out in a shotgun formation with three receivers. Wide receiver goes in motion. Tight ends wide open. How is he that open? Josh Malloy, 13 yard TD. So just like that, seven nothing lead turns to a 10-7 deficit. Only a matter of about three minutes of game time. Uh, I don't know. We it's going to be tough. You know, once you're trailing in a game. Uh, on Heisman difficulty, it, they make it very difficult for you to, you know, make plays that you normally can make when you're leading. So we'll see what happens. You know, good play by the Badgers. You know, they, they got what they needed. But, you know, now it's our turn, third and eight, coming out with the Seattle play again. I really do abuse this play from time to time because it just works. I don't know. As you see here, Justin Royal scrambles out of the pocket, picks up another first down, and goes aerial on him. Almost jumped over the defender cleanly, but he gets tripped up and uh, picks up the first down, though. So second and 11. We're uh, just about 40 seconds left in the third quarter. This game went by pretty fast because both of our offenses tend to grind it out. We don't put up a lot of points unless we're playing scrubs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 30 seconds to go. Going across the middle to that guy, Sheldon Jefferson, has made play after play. Great pitch and catch. You know, great way to set up, uh, you know, our, our possession into the fourth quarter because, you know, and that and that particular uh, that that pass there put Justin Royal alone on the all-time uh, quarterback passing record. That's for for all time for the team record, and that's that's how inept this this program has been. It, you know, 2,000 yards was was just enough to uh, <laughs> to take over the uh, the team's all-time lead in passing yardage. But after three, you know, Justin Royal and company are set up to at least try to tie the game up and uh, make this a pretty interesting national title game, even though it's been pretty damn interesting already. So. Third and 13 after a few negative plays to start the quarter. I come back out in the same formation again because this play was one of the only plays that worked. And I tried to throw it up. Instead, I, I threw it out of bounds just because I didn't want to take a sack. We ended up getting the field goal, tying this game up at 10. And, uh, yeah, you know, this is this is what I'll come down to. Three minutes left to go in a national title game. You got to make plays. You, you got to, uh, you know, whoever wants it more is going to end up getting this national title. And look at that hit. Who was that, Craig Hart? What a hit by Craig Hart. Oh, my God. Yeah, show off them, them guns, son. Look at this hit. Get in the backfield. Land the running back out. Setting up a third and eight. A stop here would, uh, would, would all but give us a great chance to, uh, to win this title game. Three minutes left to go in the game. They come out in a shotgun formation. I'm, I'm watching everything that's going ac across the middle. So we get the stop. You know, they get six yards. They needed eight. So we're going to get the ball back. With just over two minutes to play. So now we take over. This is some Tom Brady type stuff right here. You know, two minutes left to go. Tie ball game. All we need is three. You know, what are we going to do? You know, 
So let's go. First play, Justin Royal takes off, picks up 10, uh, 10 huge yards. That was, uh, you know, a big scramble for him. He actually had a great game today. You know, he uh, he made some plays. He threw an interception to uh, to finish off the first half. But hey, that's that's fine. I mean, he's also he came up big time and time again. Look at this throw right here, Sheldon Jefferson. You see that window he threw through? That was amazing. Three catches for 71 yards, 24 yards per catch almost. And look at that tight window. He just throws it right through there, picks up the first down, and we're rolling. We're at midfield now. You know, we're, we're churning out first downs and trying to keep the clock rolling as well because even if we get a field goal and leave time on the clock, chances are they get a chance to come, to come back and, and tie this thing up as well. So, uh, you know, got a lot of things working against us, but not this play right here. Sheldon Jefferson picks up another first down, 18 more yards. Huge play. I guess they, they ran a – a cornerback blitz or something because he was wide open off the line and I, I fed him you know I had to get him the ball again great throw kind of wobbly but hey Peyton Manning throws wobbly once as well and he's the best quarterback in the game so what can you do uh, just over a minute left to play at this point actually 30 seconds left to go we're running the ball and and for some reason I don't know why I was asking myself as I was playing this game what what was Wisconsin thinking they didn't even want to try to stop the clock or anything I guess they figure we miss or we choke or turn it over or whatever, but they didn't bother. <laughs> they didn't bother to use any of their timeouts, which is hilarious. But four seconds left on the clock. I'm trying to just get set up in a in better field goal position. I want to be straight on for this kick. I almost ran the clock out, which would have been very noobish. But comes down to this: a kick, one second left, one second left. You know, win this, and we're the champs. So, you know, the snap, the hold is good, the kick is up. It is right down the middle, and we are the national champions, Georgia State Panthers. They have done it. What an incredible season, one of the most improbable runs you're ever going to you'll ever see. You know, what a way to finish the year, 13 to 10, national title. I, you know, I was so pumped up. You know, I know you guys are pumped up. I got a lot of guys telling me they love this series. But, yeah, that was an ESPN Classic. I got a couple achievements, one for winning with Georgia State in year one of a dynasty, another for winning, uh, you know, a title with my coach from his alma mater. Play of the game was the uh, the Martell Jones touchdown. He he earned it. He, he worked for it. We did it. The confetti's coming down. We are the national title. You know, we're the national champs. That, that just uh, – who knew? You know, the real-life Georgia State went 0-12, I believe. Hey, we're 13-0. Maybe I should take over Georgia State's program. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, yeah, man, this is your boy I pulled to the house. Let me know what you think. You know, player of the game, Jermaine Walton. This guy could play on Sundays, to be honest. he just He's relentless, gets after the quarterback. They're presenting us with the crystal ball. We get the ship. We did it. You know, I, I want to thank everybody who supported this series. You know, guys like Sports Gaming Universe. Shout out Gento, I guess. All the, yeah, 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 we won. You know, kind of annoyed him in the parties we left. <laughs> So uh, yeah, uh, check out these highlights. Um, as far as what's going on for for you know for this series, I'm definitely coming back with a season two. Got to defend the title, you know. Um, can't really play it any differently. I'm gonna still schedule tons of great opponents and uh, try to get some more wins. I'll show you my my off season stuff uh, in the next video, and then we'll get things popping with season two as soon as possible. All right, this your boy. I pull up to the house, you know, reporting from you as a national champion. <laughs> Georgia State, what a win, you know, what a season, you know, uh, we're going to lose a lot of seniors from the squad, but I'm going to try to do as best as I can recruiting in the offseason, but until then, I'm going to holler at you guys later, all right, peace.